answer. No, it's just answer. Why do I always get the name wrong? It's by Tyler the Creator. Guys, standard tuning, but you need a capo on six. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little things that we have to do, but a lot of them just repeat. It's not gonna be that bad. Stop complaining. Middle finger, third fret, second string from the top. Pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top. Guys, you're just gonna play the second string from the top, then you go down to the third from the top, then you go down to the open third string from the bottom, then the open second string from the bottom. So there's our first four notes. One, two, three, four. Keep those there. Don't move them, but then take your ring finger, play the third fret on the second string from the bottom, then get your ring finger out of there and play the bottom string open. Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the bottom string, play that. And then get your ring finger out of there once again and play the bottom string open. Guys, let's practice these eight notes very slowly. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I told you it was eight. Ocho, that's Spanish for eight. One, two, here we go. And uh, 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 ring finger, bottom string, ring finger, bottom string. Do it one more time. One more time, but, and then I have a secret that I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about this chord, guys. One, two, Kalamazoo, and uh, ring finger, bottom string, ring finger, bottom string. Here's my secret, you ready? So I told you to use middle finger, pointer finger, and use your ring finger down here. When I play it most of the time, I actually use my ring finger, my middle finger here, and my pinky down here. You have every right in the world to do this. Don't let anyone take away your right to play it with these fingers. But I'm showing it to you with these three fingers, because I think most of you fine folks out there are gonna have a much greater time moving your ring finger around. I just, for some reason, like moving my pinky around. It's just a fun thing for me. Call me crazy. I like moving my pinky, guys. Oh no, call the pinky police. Stuart likes moving his pinky. Now, in the actual song, they play that eight note pattern dos times in a row, Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. Let's, so let's play it twice in a row, and how about we speed it up? a tiny little tadpole. One, two, three, and four, and. Ooh, I sped it up a lot, sorry. This was unfair of me. Yeah, I left you guys in the dust. Let's let's split the difference. Let's go a little slower. Let's go bonk, bonk, go. One, two, here we go. Is that slower? Shoot, and I messed up. This is impossible. Give up, give up, drop out of school. Don't go, bonk, go. One, two. Here we go. Again. Great job. Guys, we're one quarter of the way through. I feel like I have like low blood sugar. I don't really know what that feels like. Honestly, I just, I just know that I haven't eaten anything and I drank I drank coffee and I'm just, well, I did have a protein shake. That kind of counts as food, right? My name is Stuart. This is my channel, Murder Music Center. Please like and subscribe. Guys, it's gonna be, we're gonna have such a fun time playing all kinds of songs together in the future and the past and the present. Moving on to the next hunk of the song, guys. This next chord, we're gonna cheat a little bit. So here's, here's what I mean. I'll show you two ways of doing it. First, I'm gonna show you the way I recommend you play it. Then I'll show you the way that that might be a slightly more accurate. It's all the same notes. It's just a different fingering. I'll show you what I mean. So here's what I need you to do first. I need you to keep your pointer finger on that second fret of the third string from the top, but you're gonna lift up your ring finger off of the second string from the top. Play the second string from the top open, then put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the top and play that note. Then go down to the third string from the top, then go down to the third string from the bottom. Then go down to the second string from the bottom. Play the third fret on that second string from the bottom. Play the bottom string open. Play the third fret on the bottom string. And then quickly, very quickly, you're gonna pull your ring finger off, play the bottom string open again, and then so quickly play the third fret on the bottom string again. That's that little part where it does it has that little stutter, it goes like that, so we go. If we do it faster, it goes. 
Remember that part from the song? You guys know it all oh so well. Okay, let's practice. Okay, well, okay, okay. So you do that, and then we do it again. I elbowed the chair so hard. After that, we repeat pretty much the same pattern again. It's just at the end, we don't do that little stutter thing. We do something different. We go like this. You have your pointer finger in the same spot. You play the second string from the top open, middle finger, third fret, then go to the third from the top, play third from the bottom, play second from the bottom open, then do third fret on second from the bottom. I rushed through all that because it's the exact same notes we just played. Then with your ring finger, or you can use your pinky if you want, I don't really care. You're gonna play the third fret on the bottom string. So we're going directly from the third fret on the second to bottom to the third fret on the bottom. I just do this little like rocking motion. See me using the tip of my ring finger, then boom, flatten it out. Then get your ring finger out of there completely and play the bottom string open. So that second time through that little pattern goes. So if we play both of those together, well, not if we play them, what I'm saying is play it with me, guys. One and two, just from the second string from the top open. All right, we're halfway through, but this is where we're gonna take a quick little detour because the way we just played that, it's all the right, it's all the same notes you hear on the recording, but there's something a little bit different about the way we're doing it right now. Do you guys hear that sound? Is that a vacuum? What is that? You probably can't hear anything. Why am I doing this? Here's how I know that's not exactly how they play it on the actual recording, because that first note that we played, the second string open, on the recording, that note just rings out throughout the entire thing, and you, that note never disappears. When we're playing it, as soon as we play that third fret on the second string from the top, we lose that open string note. So that means they must be playing this note right here, on the top string or they're using some sort of studio trick and have two guitars going or something like that. But we can do it by using pinky on the fifth fret of the top string, then put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the top and your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. So we go, and then you play the next string open, then you play the next string open, but then you have to move your pointer finger down to the third fret here, which is kind of awkward and then the bottom string open, and then do that quick little stutter thing with your pointer finger, so it's... And then you just go... So doing it this way sounds a little bit more accurate, but the truth is I'm not sure it's worth the trouble. Listen to the difference, here's this way. Now here's this way, I forget how it goes. Oh, here it is. They're very similar. So similar. It's like they're they were born at in this under the same moon. I don't know. I don't know about moons or borns. The born identity, born supremacy, born See, I can only name two of the born movies. Are there four or are there three? This is not important for right now. Moving on to the next part of the song. Guys, we are literally five eighths. Literally five eighths done with the song. Put your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top. Play that note. Then play the third string from the bottom open. I think I said sing from the bottom. String. Sometimes I slur my words. It has nothing to do with anything. That makes it sound like I'm drunk. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so first fret, third string from the top. Then play the third string from the bottom open. Then with your ring finger, play third fret on the third string from the bottom. Then with your pinky, play third fret on the second string from the bottom. So that was first fret, open, third fret, third fret. Then you need to smash down your pointer finger so that it hits the bottom string on the first fret, guys. If you really don't wanna do that, you can just relocate your finger down to the bottom string. It's gonna sound a little bit better, though, if you keep pushing on that third string from the top. So that was. Now, when you get to this first fret on the bottom string, oh, I, if I didn't mention, go ahead and play that bottom string once you're pushing on it with your pointer finger. You're gonna let that note sit there for a second. It's twice as long as all the other notes. 
And then, and only then, you play the second string from the bottom, which has your pinky on the third fret. So that was. Okay, guys, we're almost there. We're almost home free. This last final stretch from the song, of the song even, you're gonna put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, pointer finger is gonna mash down on the first fret of the bottom two strings. You are going to just play the third string from the top, then play third string from the bottom, then play second string from the bottom, then with your pinky, play the third fret on the second string from the bottom, and then get your pinky out of there and play the bottom string with the first fret from your pointer finger. So that was third fret, second fret, first fret, pinky on three, bottom string on one. Let's play just those notes together really slowly. One, two, extremely slowly. Uh, uh. Great! This note here is going to ring out for twice as long as all the other notes, just like this note did earlier in the song, just a moment ago. Then you're going to play, keep all these fingers here, play second string from the bottom, which is on the first fret with your pointer finger, then play third string from the bottom, which is on the second fret from your middle finger. So that was... Okay, guys, we're doing it. Only four more notes! Middle finger on second fret of the third string from the top. Play that note. Then play the third string from the bottom open. Put your ring finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Then you're going to play the first fret on the second to bottom string. So that was... One, two, do it, guys. Two, zero, two, one. One more time. Play with me. We're doing so well. Also, we just finished it. We just finished the whole thing. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, I got some armpit sweat. It's like 88 degrees and it's so muggy, okay? And I'm in this little room recording this video. Very stressful, high intensity stuff I'm doing in here. A man works up a sweat, okay? Play through the whole thing exceedingly, exceptionally, excruciatingly slowly. Bonk. Okay, bonk, one, two, from the top, and... And here we go! Then back to the first part. Shoot! Oh God! Okay, we're good. Then the crazy part. I call this the crazy part, apparently. Oh! Then it starts over again. This is the song that is known as Answerer. Why is it? Why is Answer spelled that way? This is a good discussion to get into right now. We're all in the mood for it. Why is it spelled Answerer? Leave your answer in the comments and uh, say hi to Tyler the Creator for me. I'll see you later. Bye.